still five plus days away, but right now the air show weather-wise is looking pretty nice. I'll have more details on that in a second. But first, let's talk about our headlines. Cold tonight, I'm saying cold because 30s in June will feel cold. But unless you wake up at 5 a.m. every morning, you probably won't notice it as temperatures will shoot up pretty quick tomorrow, late morning into the afternoon. More pop-up showers, we'll talk about that. And then summer returns, warmer temperatures and even a chance for thunderstorm, thunderstorms returns in the forecast. So tomorrow morning, we wake up, we do see some clear skies, and that's what we need for cool temperatures. But this trough is going to be trying to bring some clouds and light showers in overnight. But locations that have those clear skies, that those people will have the best shot of getting some frost. So maybe International Falls uh, towards Grand Rapids. Uh, Dan mentioned Cotton's a really low-lying area that could see some frost. So that's definitely a possible possibility tonight, and cool air sticks around tomorrow. Although it'll be warmer than today, still around 10 degrees below average with highs in the upper 60s and a few low 70s. And there are those pop-up showers that I mentioned popping up Tuesday afternoon as well. Moving into Wednesday, low pressure to our north has a cold front coming close. Doesn't come close enough, and that will bring us with southerly winds and warmer temperatures. So summer returns on Wednesday, and that cold front will actually never make it through the Northland. So warm air will stick with us into Thursday, and Thursday is the next shot for some rain showers and thunderstorms. You can see along this front, there is a chance for some of those thunderstorms. So hour by hour, tomorrow morning, pretty cold. This model doesn't want to put us in the 30s. It's just saying low 40s, but it tends to be quite a bit warmer than we actually see at night. So that's why. I'm forecasting mid-30s and a couple low 30s in areas that are very low-lying. Tuesday afternoon, there's the pop-up showers. There's the temperatures in the low 70s. So add around 5 or 6 degrees to what we had today. And then Wednesday, temperatures shoot up into the 80s, 81, with mostly sunny skies. So if you like the 80s, just wait till Wednesday. Nice warmer conditions return. And then thunderstorms likely Thursday. And then going further beyond, this computer model goes a little bit further out. Thursday night, we could see some heavier showers and thunderstorms. So the next chance to really keep an eye to the sky looks to be on Thursday. Forecast for tonight, there's 30s that I'm putting on the map. 36 in Hibbing, 42 on top of the hill in Duluth, 38 on top of the hill in Grand Marais. In Wisconsin, we could have some 30s away from Lake Superior. So Hayward, some of the low-lying areas between Spooner, Hayward, and Mercer could get down into the 30s tonight. Otherwise, we're going to see a warmer day tomorrow with those spotty showers. Basically a, re a repeat of what we had today with those fair weather clouds and the showers that come down. But any minute, it could be sunny. The next minute, it could be a brief shower. And that's what's going to happen in Minnesota with temperatures right around 70. So here's the seven-day forecast. We will show you what's going to happen on the weekend when we have that beautiful weather for the air show. So 80 on Saturday is looking pretty nice. But just be ready on Thursday for the chance for those thunderstorms. 50% chance there. Sa Sunday looks nice, looking all the way to next Monday, looking pretty comfortable. So we do have to get through one below average day tomorrow before summer returns and 70s and 80s <laughs> return to the map. Overall, really nice forecast with some more beneficial rain on Thursday. Man, yeah. what a ride. Frost to mid 80s, <laughs> only in the Northland. No, I haven't, not, not only in the Northland, I wouldn't say that. I was just, yeah, yeah okay, fine. <laughs> he <laughs> fact-checked you real hard. I want to know exactly where else. Uh, anywhere that's away from the oceans, I'd say, it can get really cold to really warm. There not not to ruin anyone's day, sorry. <laughs> I feel like such a downer right now. We <laughs> My, want it to be special, okay? Duluth is very special in the fact that we have 30 degrees between uh, 50 and 80 those days by the yeah. lake when we have a lake breeze. True. That doesn't happen anywhere else. So there's only the Northland. My day's ruined. Thanks a lot, Alex. <laughs>